Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we are diving into the Season 10 5th Anniversary Battle Pass. If you are hyped for Season 10, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and let's get it started by checking out the character skins first. First up, we have Girasol Clairvoyant. She's got a cool futuristic style with a mix of streetwear. She's wearing a purple long sleeve shirt over a green top along with olive cargo pants and black boots. A red bandana keeps her hair back and she has a utility belt with pockets for her gear. Her name, Clairvoyant, hints that she might have a special power to see things others can't, which fits perfectly with this season's Zodiac theme. Next, we have Francis Special Operations Executive. This is skin originally from Warzone and Vanguard, gives Francis a tough, mysterious look. He wears a hood and mask covering part of his face. His outfit includes utility pockets, straps, and a battle-worn cape, showing he's been through intense fights. His suit has black armor with bright yellow accents. This skin is packed with detail and bold colors, making Francis look like a powerful, futuristic soldier. Now let's look at the third character, Synaptic Tranquility. This robotic character has a detailed samurai-inspired design. It wears a dark blue robe that flows over a lighter underlayer with an orange sash at the waist for a pop of color. The helmet is silver featuring a visor and high-tech details giving it a futuristic style. The final character skin is Paulina Runic Hunter. She's dressed in a tactical outfit with a hood and a long cape that flows behind her. Her outfit includes belts, gloves, and several accessories, blending cyberpunk and mechanic punk styles. The futuristic design makes her look like a tough hero from a high-tech world. However, this skin is actually a reskin of the Paulina Cloaked for Combat that was released a few months ago. These character skins definitely have a unique vibe. They're not the usual flashy or bright styles, but lean more towards a blend of futuristic and practical design. They've gone for a subtle cyberpunk meets a streetwear feel, rather than full military aesthetics, which might appeal to players who enjoy something stylish but not overly attention-grabbing. They're cool in their own way, even if they're not my top choice for vibrant skins. What do you think? Do you prefer the more understated designs or the bold, flashy ones? Now let's take a look at weapon skins you will see inside of this battle pass. First is we're going to take a look at is the USS-9 The Lovers. This is the Battle Pass skin for the new functional weapon. This gun skin features a metallic design with a rich dark pink and purple color scheme. The body of the gun is decorated with silver patterns, diamond shapes and spiral accents. It has a padded quilted texture around the handle and stock. The gun stop has a set of wings extending outward giving it a unique fantasy inspired look. If we talk about the iron sight of course because they want to sell the brand new mythic they still kept the default ghost ring on this iron sight. Next weapon skin we have is Koshka Illusory Moon. The skin has a bold futuristic design with a blue and green color scheme. The body features green crystal-like accents with silver details, forming geometric patterns along the barrel. A large silver star emblem decorates the middle section. The rear section includes circular mechanical details, giving the gun a sci-fi vibe. The overall look combines elegance with a powerful otherworldly aesthetic. Going on to the next gun skin, we're gonna get FFAR1 Surrenderer. This gun skin features a dark design with a mix of black and red colors. The body of the gun has unique geometric patterns including diamond shapes and eye-like symbols. A striking detail is depicting a character with red hair in an upside-down pose, adding a rebellious or haunting touch. I actually really like this blueprint and I think this is my favorite one in this battle pass, especially because it comes with a pay-to-win iron sight. Now we're gonna move on to the fourth weapon blueprint which is R90 Brushed Lion. The gun skin has has a mix of purple and dark blue hues as its primary colors, accented with black and white detailing. A fierce lion's head is visible near the center of the body, adding a strength and elegance to the skin. Geometric patterns and tribal-inspired shapes are also integrated along the body of the weapon. I've got nothing else and anything good to say about this skin. Now we move on to the final gun skin in the battle pass, M4 Long Ace. This gun skin features a regal and metallic design with a silver and black color scheme, accented by gold highlights. A shield emblem is visible near the center of the body. The magazine has a sunburst pattern in white. The overall design has a refined nightly theme. It does not have different iron sight and I'm a little bit disappointed on why we get so many M4 epic skins in battle passes. At least it is a no stock version so some people may like it. Anyways that's all I have about the battle pass right now. Also a lot of people ask me about the battle royal ground loot of next season. Assault rifles are AK-117, AK-47, M4, Kilo-141, DRH, Krieg-6, FFR, Grossa and Fell. Sniper rivals are XPR, DLQ, Locus, Ritek and SVD. As LMGs, you will find RPD, Holger and PKM. SMGs are as follows. You will find RUS, HG40, Kodite, Fennec, MX9, Switchblade X9, OTS9, 
ISO and of course USS-9. Three shotguns are expected in ground loot. Those are BY-15, R-90 and Argus. Only one marksman will be there which is Kilo Bolt Action. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Like and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.